Hi everyone. Today I'm going to read you this story called Bernard on his own. It's about a little bear who decides to wander away from his mom and dad and go on an adventure in the forest. Let's learn more. See if he gets into trouble. Bernard's father was busy talking with friends about bear traps and how to stay out of them. Bernard's mother was having a little rest from taking care of the family. Hmm, maybe I can have some fun by myself, thought Bernard. And he climbed up a tree all the way to the top. His father had to climb up after him and show him how to climb down. Bernard found some honey in a beehive and took a taste. His mother had to save him from the bees. You can't go off on your own until you can stand up on your two hind legs, said Bernard's father. Doesn't look like Bernard wanted to hear that. You can't go off on your own until you can growl loud enough for everyone in the forest to hear you, said his mother. Bernard tried to stand up on his two hind legs, but his knees shook. He growled as loud as he could, but he didn't even scare a butterfly. Bernard saw a cave between rocks. Well, bears don't stand up on their hind legs when they sleep inside a cave, thought Bernard, and he ran inside. But the cave was so cold and dark, Bernard came running out in a hurry. Bears don't growl when they fish, thought Bernard. Maybe I can catch a fish for supper. Bernard caught a fish, but it was so slippery he couldn't hold on to it. I guess I'll never be on my own, said Bernard sadly. Why don't you join us, asked a duck. But before he could thank her, the ducks flew up in the air, and Bernard was left alone in the pond. Why don't you join us, asked a deer. But before Bernard could join them, the deer went leaping through the forest while Bernard was still on the ground. Who cares, thought Bernard. I'm not a duck or a deer. I am a bear. And bears aren't afraid of anything. And he went into the deepest part of the forest. So many trees and branches and bushes, Bernard stood up on his hind legs to look. But he could hardly see a thing. Help, help, I'm lost, growled Bernard. Please, somebody save me. His mother and father came running. Where have you been? We were worried about you, said Bernard's mother. Tomorrow, said Bernard's father, we'll show everyone how you can growl and stand up on your hind legs. But right now, let's go home, said Bernard's mother. There's a nice meal of fresh berries and honey waiting for you. Bernard thought those were the sweetest words he'd ever heard. The end. What a sweet story about Bernard and his mom and dad and his friends in the forest. Sometimes when we're little, we're really anxious to try to do things on our own. Once in a while, it's a little bit sooner than we're ready. Like Bernard, he wanted to wander off, but he wasn't quite ready. Luckily, his mom and dad were there to help him. So if there's something you want to try, probably best to ask a grown-up if it's okay first. And certainly don't ever wander off without telling somebody where you are.
it's very different when you're a little bear in the forest as opposed to a little person in the world. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed that story about Bernard on his own. He'll be on his own one day when he's ready. Have a great rest of the day, everyone. Come back so I can read to you some more soon. <laughs>